Tonight, a joint investigation by the News 4i team and Telemundo Investiga uncovers unthinkable allegations of rape inside a New York City hospital. A doctor accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a female patient while recording it on his cell phone. And as Chris Glorioso reports, this is not the first time he's been accused of using anesthesia to commit sex crimes. The allegations against Dr. Xi Allen Cheng are so monstrous they could make a horror writer blush. The Queen's physician is currently facing charges he drugged a woman using an unknown liquid and recorded video as he raped her in his apartment. It sounded like a parent's worst nightmare, um, you know, something out of a movie. Now, Dr. Cheng is being accused of a second rape, only this time the alleged victim says she was his patient and it happened inside New York Presbyterian Hospital, Queens. I am scared. I no longer want to go to hospitals. We'll call her Jane, and Jane spoke exclusively to the I-Team and Telemundo Investiga because she fears what happened to her might have happened to others. It was June of 2021 when Jane was a 19-year-old admitted to the hospital in Flushing. Her medical records show she needed her gallbladder removed, but the day before surgery in a hospital pediatric unit, Jane says Dr. Chang unexpectedly injected her with an unknown drug. Immediately after the injection, she fell asleep, and when she woke up, the doctor was no longer in the room. That medical record also says she felt extreme pain to her lower abdomen. It's not normal to be injected uh, and not know what you were injected with and wake up in extreme pain. Jane's attorney, Nicholas Liakis, says his client and her mother reported the suspicion something criminal had happened. They say they demanded to know what the doctor injected and even pointed Dr. Cheng out in an impromptu lineup at the hospital. They put me in front of like four doctors and they said, identify who it is. I said him because he was there standing up. So in the hospital, they did kind of a lineup of doctors. They did. And she pointed at who? At the doctor, Dr. Chang. What does that tell you about how seriously the hospital was taking the complaint from this patient? It tells me that at least the nurse would have believed something was wrong. Because that's something that you see in a police station, not in a hospital. New York Presbyterian declined to answer questions about the incident. But in a statement to the I-Team, the hospital said, the crimes committed by this individual are heinous, despicable, and a fundamental betrayal of our mission and our patient's trust. We are appalled and deeply saddened by what these victims and their families have endured. The hospital said Dr. Cheng was fired in December of 2022 as soon as the DA revealed the criminal case. But it's not clear what, if any, action the hospital took in 2021 after Jane reported being drugged. Is there any universe in which the hospital could credibly say we had no idea? No. Jane's lawyers say the medical record proves hospital staff felt something was deeply wrong. It shows the hospital was searching security video and key card access near Jane's room the day of the incident. And after, the hospital assigned social workers to conduct a SAFE exam. That stands for Sexual Assault Forensic Examination. You have essentially a predator uh, in, in, in a white coat who is now lurking the hallways of a pediatric unit. Dr. Chang's defense lawyer told the I-Team the physician denies the criminal rape charges and with respect to the rape allegation from his former patient, he said, our understanding is the hospital matter was investigated by the facility and no action was taken. Our client will defend these allegations should they be formally charged. I wouldn't want anyone else to go through this. Jane says she may never have fully known what happened while she was unconscious in the hospital were it not for a devastating call from prosecutors at the Queen's DA's office. In December, DA Melinda Katz secured this indictment against Dr. Chang, alleging he video recorded that rape in his apartment. While investigating that, Jane says prosecutors found another video that showed her hospital assault a year earlier. What does that say to you about the likelihood of more victims? Someone to rise to this level where you're drugging a person and raping a person, that doesn't happen overnight. Dr. Xi Allen Chang is now locked up on Rikers Island without bond, awaiting trial on that rape charge from last year. Jane is now suing New York Presbyterian Hospital, and she's demanding the hospital alert all of Dr. Chang's former patients that he's been accused of using anesthesia to commit sexual assault. Chris Glorioso, News 4 New York. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. 
I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful midweek Wednesday. I'm doing well myself. Shout out to the sister queen. I know who I am for sending me this particular story here. Definitely appreciate it. Now, this first video that we just watched has nothing to do with this guy in this particular situation of this story. It's just that I decided to collaborate them because they are so similar in nature. You know, these doctors out here, <laughs> I'm telling you, let's just hope and pray that none of us have to go under the knife or anything, you know, to where we have to be, you know, put unconscious. You know, because like I said, you can't trust these damn people. You know, everything is going on. They're using, you know, anesthesia, you know, to put people to sleep, you know, under the geyser, giving surgery and then getting into some freaky deaky shit. You understand what I'm saying? Now, turns out, though, in this particular situation, <laughs> things didn't go so well for this doctor who was alleged to have done the same thing to a man's wife. It says here, chaos at OBGYN conference as Enraged husband slaps doctor, claims he sexually assaulted his wife. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this particular doctor right here, well, he got a taste of uh, a husband's rage, you know, behind some allegedly what he did. Alleged to have done the same. Says there a man strolled up to a panel of OBGYNs at a medical conference in Baltimore and abruptly slapped the speaker on stage twice while claiming the Long Island based physician had sexually assaulted his wife according to a video of the incident. A woman who appeared to be the man's wife calmly stood nearby during her husband's nearly two minute long profane uh, deer truck uh, from the stage. She was by his side as the pair later left the ballroom for the shows. Video of the scene at the May 23rd conference went viral after an anonymous user put it on Twitter Friday. In the clip, the man can be seen stepping up onto the stage, grabbing the stuns doctor's shirt collar and appears to push him back a step or two. Okay, so... Pretty much, I guess what happened, you know, <laughs> husband like, you know, uh, put this dude in check. Let's just leave it at that. To continue, the physician uh, appears to look around as the much taller man holds him at the neck, points at him, and then turns to the crowd and says, this mother effer <laughs> sexually assaulted my wife seven years ago, the footage shows. All right, now, why was it this dress back then? See, I hate this. This is what I don't like about these so-called sexually assault cases. You know what I mean? It turns out to be a lot of times years later. But let's continue. Uh, it says there's the interlopers, uh, well, interlopers slap the doctor. You know what you did. Husband storms the stage and assaults doctor at Baltimore Medical Conference accusing him of sexually assaulting his wife seven years ago. His angry tirade continues for two minutes. Here's a video that's on uh, Twitter, but what I guess I'm gonna do if I remember, I'll put it in the uh, description box. Okay, uh, to continue here, you know what you did. You touched my wife seven years ago in New York. The man shouted as he first pointed to his wife and then slapped the physician a second time. Don't be a, well, be an, I guess a, a, I don't know what that is, but you can rest assured it's an explicative. <laughs> Seven years, I waited for this. Seven. The man screeched as he began walking out. Seven years, my wife has been suffering because you a predator. He returned one last time near the dais uh, where the doctor was standing warning him in a threatening voice, laugh one more time. In a separate video taken as the man and his wife were leaving the venue, his wife can be heard telling a bystander that she had reported the doctor for harassment at the time the alleged incident occurred. Okay, well, and that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, the couple appeared to be speaking to a pair of security guards one of whom can be heard saying there's a better way to handle it okay i'm just wondering why 
law enforcement wasn't, you know, uh, called when this particular alleged incident is to have happened. You know, you have to get, you know, law enforcement in on sexual assault cases immediately. You know, there can't be no, you know, uh, Anita Hill, what's it, Anita Hill, whatever her name is. I don't know, I get her mixed up with the singer. <laughs> Uh, you can't get, I think it's Anita, her, you know, that kind of stuff mix up 20 and 30 and 40 years later, I was raped, I was sexually assaulted by this person, you know, like they just did Trump, you know what I'm saying, you're supposed to tell that when it happens, you see, because it seems like to me, it's something nefarious in nature is going on when you wait that long to say something like that happened to you, you know, and you're a woman, okay, and here's a picture right here, an image of the man, I guess, grabbing this doctor and slapping shit out of him, all right? <laughs> now, to continue here, it says, the man who had walked away then spun on his heel and came back incredulously saying, there's a better way to do. He sexually assaulted my wife. There's a better way to do? Question. Baltimore police confirmed WMAR that um, the physical assault on the doctor occurred at the May 20th conference. The doctor, who has not been publicly identified, has not been charged with any crime. He practices uh, at Stony Brook University Medical Center, WMAR reported. Um, the assaulted individual stated that he did not want to file criminal charges or file a report against the individual who physically assaulted him and that he would prefer the individual be escorted off the premises, a police spokesperson said. Now, here's another question. Now, somebody just came up there and slapped your ass twice, grabbed you all up in the collar and everything else, embarrassed you in front of a crowd. Why wouldn't you want to file charges on them? Could that could be an admission of guilt? Could that be that the man was right? You understand what I'm saying? That doesn't look good for the doctor, okay? To continue here, the American College of Optetricists and Genealogy, oh well, no, that's gynecology, excuse me, Optetricists and Gynecology, sent an email about the incident to his physicians prompting the doctor to reach out to the group uh, for clarification. The ACOG then posted a statement about the incident on to Twitter Thursday. We recognize that those who witnessed the incident in person or online may have experienced trauma as a result. I ain't experienced no damn trauma. The doctor did. To continue, <laughs> including many of you who have experienced sexual assault or other violence in the past, the group said in the statement. The clip was apparently posted in response to the ACOG and has garnered 1.3 million views. Okay? In conclusion, we take this matter seriously. Stony Brook University officials are reviewing the circumstances and taking the necessary measures to address any issues resulting from this incident, Stony Brook University Medical Center told WMAR in a statement. Okay? The post was unable to immediately reach the doctor. In conclusion there. So, uh, um, the doctor just took the punishment. Uh, this man coming up and slapping shit out of him twice. Okay, not once, but twice. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, this doctor probably guilty. He probably did that, you know. But, uh, another thing, I, I really do believe that the wife should, not only she had, should have filed charges, but what about a lawsuit? negligence you know for sexual assault if you actually were sexually assaulted it's kind of confusing to me but just like in the first video that we watched about the, the asian doctor you know what i mean well he's caught on camera and he's in i think what was that rikers you know rikers island yeah they guys that already locked up so it's plain to see that he's guilty you know he was on camera you know so uh there's proof there but I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts and views on it in the comment section. Do you think that this doctor actually sexually assaulted this woman? Or is she just crying wolf and got this man slapped twice? You understand? Let me know in the comment section. 
Um, people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.